First, I have a quick question for you. Yeah, man, what's up? So, I want to learn software development, but I don't know where to start. What programming language do I learn first? Well, that's actually a really good question. I actually get that question asked all the time. Well, guess what, folks? We're going to be talking about that today. Let's go. What's up guys, Farce here and welcome back to another software development YouTube video. And that's right, you heard it, we're going to talk about what programming language you should learn first as a newbie software developer. Alright, so jump into it without wasting any of your time. The first programming language you should learn is Python if you're looking for an easy programming language. A lot of people will recommend Python to learn first because you can build a decent application with minimal code. However, if you want to go the more traditional route, kind of like I did in my computer science program, you can learn C++ or Java. That's what universities generally will teach their students because they say if you can learn C++ or Java, you can learn anything. Something that you will find is that most languages are more similar to Java and C++ than they are to Python. Python is a, a beast of its own, but is very applicable in many situations. But if you really don't want to waste any time just learning whatever language, then listen to the rest of this video because that's where you're really going to find the value. Don't just pick a language because I said it in the beginning of the video. Don't just pick a language because you read it on a Medium post or a Quora answer of what programming language should I learn first. What you want to do is figure out what you want to build. If you don't know what you want to build, then look into some companies you wish to work for. If you want to work for yourself, that's a different question. But if you want to work for a particular company, look into what technologies and what languages they use within their company. Once you figure that out, or once you figured out what exactly you want to build, maybe that be iOS applications, Android applications, web applications, websites. Maybe you want to build entire enterprise systems or want to get into cloud computing or machine learning or artificial intelligence. Look into exactly what you want to build and figure out what they use to build those applications. For example, many years ago, I sought out to learn iOS development. I chose iOS development because it was very focused. I knew what tool I was going to use, that was Xcode. I knew what language I was going to be programming in, and that was Swift. And I knew my distribution platform, and that was the Apple App Store. And that's exactly what you need to do. You need to figure out what you want to build and that's when you can determine what programming language to learn first. Because in all honesty, there would have been no point in me to learn Python if I was going to be an iOS developer. I mean, now I'm a full-time software engineer and I'm doing a lot of different things from Java to JavaScript, but I digress, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is trying to get you to figure out what programming language is best for you to learn first. So at the risk of sounding repetitive, what you need to do is figure out what you want to build and what languages are used to build that. Because trust me when I say you'll benefit a lot more from me teaching you how to solve problems than you would of me making a really long video sitting here. Okay, if you want to do iOS development, you want to go with Swift. You want to do uh, Android development, you want to go with Kotlin, maybe Java. Who knows? Kotlin may be coming in strong. Uh, when it comes to web development, you want to go with a mean stack. Or maybe you want to go with a LAMP stack. What you really want to do is look up JHipster, which stands for Java Hipster, and it kind of uh, creates a small project for you that you can customize to your liking. However, if you go to the JHipster route, then you would need to learn Java, some JavaScript, some HTML, some CSS. See, in the long term, that doesn't benefit you that much. If you really don't know what you want to build, I recommend taking a look at my career paths for computer science major video, even if you're not a computer science major, because then you can look into a few career paths that are in the software development industry. It can go from hacking to different types of web development or application development or a data analyst or a data scientist. I mean, there you just check out the video. I go into a little bit more depth on that, but it's kind of like the same structure as this. I want you to figure out for yourself because everybody's different in the software development industry. The tech industry as a whole is just so giant that I can't pinpoint exactly what you want to build or exactly what you need to build because I don't know where you want to work. I don't know what you want to build. That's something you need to figure out on your own. And I'm here to try to encourage you to do that. So with that being said, if you like this video or you just like me, consider, you know, liking and subscribing, doing all that stuff. But until next time, guys, have a good one. Peace.